Welcome to video 07, uh, more problems on multiplying and exponents in modular arithmetic. I just didn't want to make that last video too long, so I separated this out. All right, so we got two problems. First one, find the remainder when 317 times 5 to the 51st is divided by 6. Again, we're in a mod 6 world. So if you want, we can convert everything to mod 6 and look for those friendly things, negative 0, negative 1, 0, 1, things of that nature. So um, 317, let's go to mod 6. So 317 divided by 6, um, that's going to be 5, 31, 17, 2, 12, remainder 5. So I've got 5 mod 6 times, and 5 is simply 5 in mod 6, times 5 to the 51st in mod 6. And I still don't really want to deal with that. Again, uh, if you recall, we could just simply add sixes or subtract sixes. If I subtract sixes, I get a negative one, love it. So this is really like negative one mod six times negative one to the 51st mod six. And negative one to the 51st power is just negative one. And negative one times negative one is positive one. So this is really like negative one times negative one mod six, which is simply one mod six. So the remainder is one. I'll just write that out. Okay, one more problem. Find the remainder 124 to the 50th minus 15 to the 50th is divided by 13. Again, we're in a mod 13 world. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go to um, mod 13, simplify and see if we could uh, find an easy way to solve this. So 24, uh, 24, I'll just show you. 24 divided by 13, that's going to be 1 remainder 7. I'm sorry, not 7. What was I thinking? 1 remainder 11. 15. Um, 15 divided by 13, that's 1 remainder 2. All right, so I basically have. Um, a remainder 11, a remainder 2, so I've got 11 to the 50th minus 2 to the 50th, and again I'm in mod 13. Uh, that's still not really happening. Um, can't really get them to be zeros or ones. Let's see if I can make something else happen. 11 11 is congruent to, I could add 13s or subtract 13s. That's the same as negative 2 to the 50th. And negative 2 to the 50th will be positive. A negative times an even number of factors will be positive. So that's really 2 to the 50th. And 2 to the 50th minus 2 to the 50th is 0. And again, since that's 0, that's the remainder. The remainder is 0. So these were um, just two more challenging problems. So there you have it, more problems on multiplying and exponents in modular arithmetic.